So one of the things that we like to do when we come to nature, uh, unfortunately we've got the river here in, in Snowdonia, is to move over different terrains like we spoke about. Um, and, and what we like to use really is uh, barefoot shoes or barefoot technology shoes, which are slightly wider fitting. These are the Vivo barefoots, well worn in, these boots, done a lot of miles. <laughs> um, and which allows, it's a thinner sole, so they've got full flexibility, which allows full flexibility of the toe. Um, and also stimulation of the uh, reflexes underneath the feet, but also offering a lot more feedback to the feet than a stiff sole shoe that's, that's rigid and, and thick. So you get a lot more feedback, which allows your foot to take the shape of what you're on, which gives more sensory information to the brain. So it's a much different way of moving over a terrain uh, and gives you more spatial proprioception. Uh, another kind of shoe that we also like to use, that's more for when we sort of go into the rivers and um, and want more tactile feel, more scrambling, is the Vibrams. So we discovered these around five or six years ago, um, which again are even thinner than, than, than the boots, um, but really allow for dexterity of the foot. So you, your foot goes into each part, and when you're on a different terrain, it really allows the three arches of the foot to be able to shape change over the terrain that you're on. But one of the best things by taking those off is we've got barefoot which actually allows you to be in contact with the ground which is now sort of a new emerging health trend of called grounding or earthing which basically means by placing your hands and feet or body on the ground that the earth actually has something called uh, negatively charged ions that when we place our bodies in contact with the earth we can actually absorb which massively helps to reduce inflammation in the body and that's actually scientific evidence to, to show that. So by spending 10, 15, 20 minutes a day actually grounding, it can actually help the body, uh, as I say, massively reduce inflammation, but it's been shown to reduce cholesterol, um, lower the viscosity of the blood levels, and uh, massively help to boost the immune system, and basically boost well-being, being in contact with the air. And one of the things that we like to do, as I say, because we've got the river there, is just by also going into the cold water. So Wim Hof has wider claim for showing the health benefits of going into cold water, it helps to stimulate the immune system and um, with the health benefits as well. But basically, you don't have to go all the way in, you can just paddle in, which again helps to stimulate the reflex points in the feet because you're walking over different terrains, which isn't flat, but also giving that sensory feedback to the body as well, which just helps to maintain well being, but also helping to stimulate the immune system. So I'm just going to just go for a paddle basically. With, uh, you walk again, you're walking in this way that's you're not on a flat surface, so you have to move your body centre differently over the axis to make sure that you don't slip. And then when you come to the water, you've got to put your foot down in the way that's one of those three steps that we looked at. So either decisive, evasive, or most of the time exploratory. So you just you put your foot down to make sure that the contact is okay before you can then move over and put the next foot down. So just putting your feet into the cold water, and it's a little bit chilly this morning. It just helps to wake you up in the morning, you're grounding, uh, you're moving over all those different shapes and contours to get the benefits of being outdoors, you're in the sun, you've got the water, you're becoming in tune with, uh, with nature. And it really just help mental well-being, physical well-being, uh, and becoming the same tune with nature for a little bit more thrill or excitement you can take your clothes off and go into the river which you might do which you might do later after you've had a bit more of a walk to uh, really cool off and really wake you up.